Welcome to the void. My name is Liliana, also known as the Transfiendling, or, you know, Unicornling or something at this particular point. But I am welcome and excited to get back into The Witcher 3. Now, a couple things. I did spend some time uh, killing some shit, and then uh, I'm going to be honest. I did a lot of grinding to get uh, to to get some certain armor things because I wanted them, uh, but then realized that I needed to, like, do DLC things to, like, get the armor that I wanted, and I just didn't feel like doing that. So, um, since I've done basically everything else, uh, except for, like, the final thing, which I would need to go to again, a new place that I hadn't gone to yet, um, I just gave myself the armor that I wanted with console commands. And I'm not gonna be ashamed about that. Uh, and now I have, like, the good, like, funky little, like, mage's armor. So now my Yurden traps are, like, much bigger... And I regenerate stamina wall inside them, and then it makes all my shit much better. It's really good. It's really cool. It also makes this game much more my playstyle, which I like a lot. Because I can just basically throw fire and lightning and shit around as much as I goddamn want. So I am very happy. Uh, and I don't feel robbed of the accomplishment of getting it the normal way, because I did everything else. So the, the issue was, I saw that the armor was like, oh hey... You need to, like, uh, you, you need to get this armor and you need to get up to a certain rank. What I didn't realize is that you can only get it up to that certain rank, uh, by, like, doing things in the DLC area. Which I'm not ready to really go to just yet. I want to, I'm gonna do the main storyline, then I'm gonna go do the DLC because I've been told that I can do that. So that's what I'm going to do. So, I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna feel guilty. I know some people aren't going to like that, but, you know, I am a big proponent of, you know, if, if you need to make adjustments or if you need to, like, hack a game to make it more enjoyable to yourself or if you need to mod a game, it's part of why I'm a really big supporter of game mods, then fucking do it. Games are meant to be fun and enjoyable. So, if something isn't is so like if something is making a game not fun or not enjoyable and you have the ability to change it fucking change it and so i did all right got a little bit of weight out of my inventory yeah it's the uh the griffin school of armor it's really cool um essentially now whenever i cast my signs if i cast it normally the next time i ins or i normal cast something it's free so like you know, say I do Igni. Let's hope I don't get, you know, in trouble with the guards. But I can just... Instantly. And if I do it whilst I'm within a Yurden square, it also, like, doubles the damage that it does. So it's really good for me. And especially now that my, uh... Now that I have the... Upgrade to Ard, which, you know, knocks people down. Also, amazing, very good... Very good. I like it a lot. I've had a lot more fun w playing the game since doing this. Um, partially and admittedly because I've been able to go and just, like, kind of kill cops with impunity, which that's always fun. That's a sentence that I should definitely be saying on YouTube, but I don't care! Uh, I'm also doing, um, this episode might be a little bit shorter. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to be finishing up Reason of State, which is the last quest. I accidentally walked into a couple of cutscenes because I was trying to get some Gwent cards from a couple of people. TLDR, we have helped, agreed to try to lure Radovit out onto shore. Um, we, we agreed to help Dijkstra and... What's Roach? And honestly, Vernon Roach, only reason I'm agreeing to help um, Dijkstra because Dijkstra can go fuck himself. But uh, I like Roach well enough. He's a bit of a dick, but he means well. So, I'm willing to side with him versus Dijkstra's just a Dijkstra, so I don't like him. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm willing to help uh, Roach in this case. Also, because Radovid's a bigger asshole than Roach is, so I'm, I'm okay with the situation. It may, it's fine. Um, and I, I left that area to in preparation to record, and uh, immediately had a cutscene where the lady with the many eye headband, I forget her name, uh, was like, hey, uh... That was a fun thing to eavesdrop on. Here, take this to make sure you don't fuck this whole thing up. Uh, this will maybe help Radovid ensure, like, will help ensure Radovid listens to you, hopefully. So, that's what you missed. Here we go! 
I want to go on. I want to go kill this jackass. That's okay. I can kill you without my weapons. I could kill you barehanded. I could kill you with a sign. Oh. One second, I just realized that. Yes, hello, I was checking to make sure that uh, the. I had the quest right. I just realized that OBS is not picking up my desktop audio. There we go. Apologies for that. Glad I caught this now, not sooner. Or not later. Yeah, what others? What others? Uh, you see, a rumor went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Isleheart. Ah. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid. So a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. Gotcha. The first aboard was a hunter. Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it. Shower him with gold. I had him blinded. Then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. I really want to cut your head the off. Second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt. Claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. I he hate you. Again. Can I please destroy oh. you? And I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. You're Even such a jackass. The rest of the queue dispersed quickly. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. Which admittedly was the plan until Isleheart gave me the thing. Look at that idiot with the text across his forehead. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where okay. Is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. Witchers don't really take things alive often. <laughs> you shall come with me. Hubrecht. Hubrecht. Hubrecht! Your name sounds like something, sounds like projectile oh, bombing. Hubrecht! I'm not wrong. Apologies if that's actually anybody's name, but I'm not wrong. Well, where is she? I admittedly don't where remember the entire there? plan, just it's to get rid of it on the ground. House on the bridge, closer to the other end. The plan is to get him on the ground so that people can take him out or something. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. God, you're such a dick. Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. You shall stay here. Secure the rear. Honestly, you remind me kill of... Well, I'm sorry, what? Is this how you reward those who serve you? It is how I punish those who irritate me. You know too much. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. <laughs> I'm surrounded by dead men. Follow me. All right, so any last words? <laughs> Free the Witcher, then run of it. Presumably, I have my swords still. Hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> I still have them, they're just not equipped. That's fine. Okay, so... Let's show this in action. It's really nice. It's so nice. And my, you know, my alt signs are also... Thanks. Empowered. Plan's gone to hell. 
We must get to Radovid before reinforcements. Happily! I'm happily to help destroy this absolute jackass. Let's see now, Igni. Oh. Geralt, if you could face the right direction, that would be appreciated. It's just, it's so nice. Admittedly, these are weaker than I am. But it's still nice because, uh, trust me when I say that it works, this works just as well against, like, normal guards as it does against. Uh, these or like like these lower level ones it's just it's so nice I l it makes me genuinely happy come here witch hunter seems like the witch hunters have become the prey the hunted if you will oh, this makes this brings me more satisfaction than it maybe should but I just I loathe these characters so much. Alright, fine. I'll just torch all of you. <laughs> die! Die! All of you die! <laughs> I also... I, I think I've stated this before, but just in case I haven't, I'm assuming that all of these people... They're not, like, I'm assuming that all of these soldiers aren't people who have been taken advantage of, but, like, are willingly choosing to serve. Because if they were, like, people who had been, like, coerced or tricked into service, then that would be a different story. I wouldn't be as, like, eager to kill them, because it's not really their fault if they're lied or coerced, but... Oh, you're gonna get what you're coming what's coming to you. That settles the score. And that was from the heart. Whee! Step through the heart, cause you're a dick. Go fuck Forgive yourself, Radovid. Nothing wrong with that. How did she? Where? Why? <laughs> Back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning. Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Thank you. Vess? It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. That makes me so happy. Oh, I'm I'm so very happy. This is good. This is good, actually. Fun fact. Achievement unlocked. Assassin of Kings. <laughs> Experience point received. One. You look so tired, my guy. Well, what? Is it done? Are we in the actor place? The wall did not go. Away. It looks like we might be in the actor place. More on that later. First, a stiff drink and a toast. I like no. toast. Tamaria. Tamaria. Bloody Tamaria. <laughs> sure, why not? Tamaria. It's gonna be poison or some shit because <sighs> Deekstra's a jackass. What now, Roach? Probably. A new guerrilla campaign against the Black Ones? Yeah, what is the plan? No. The war just ended. Huh? What's that? There's something I don't know about. I'd say so. You see, tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes. I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovich head, stop to guerrilla activities he will withdraw from Tamaria which will become the Empire's vassal state self-ruled internally with its own courts administrative structures and army the 
silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I say where I have power. That's not a bad way of phrasing things. So all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Yeah. Like Assuming Amir keeps his word, which is assuming a lot. That's assuming a lot. But assuming Amir keeps his word, that is probably the best deal Tamaria could get given these circumstances. You don't know Amir. He'll outwit you. Take your toys as if you were children. Oh, don't you fret. We beds are our shoulders, eyes all around. Take Dijkstra, for instance. Who used to be part of... If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. So this isn't the actor's court. I Sam. like your outfit. Vakmeth, Act 1, <laughs> Vakmeth. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. <laughs> Get up. What Tala told you. Put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilgar. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? How? This is not what we plowing agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty. And to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms was not a wise arrangement so no deal yeah you jackass actually you roach should be the first to understand i no, no don't I kill roach understand. because you too are a patriot Geralt, this doesn't concern you you may go fare thee well on your path or what not yeah, you're not gonna. I'm not gonna let you kill them. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Jackass. Again. Dixtra. I. Dixtra, can I please kill you after this? Please tell me I get to kill Dixtra after this. Also, I'm never saying his name properly again. It's always going to be Dijkstra now. Just... Oh, hey! Hi! You jackass! You rabid piece of shit! You deserve everything that's happening to you. You rancid pile of filth and vermin given a vague human shape. Bloody hell! Fuck me sideways! Not quite my type, but sure. That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilf Guardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. Sorry, you're on your own. I've. You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Oh, thank the void. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell. I'm sorry, Dijkstra's a massive piece of shit, Roach. You deserved better. Is that the uh, end of that quest line? Yes. I'm. Uh, mm, uh, I'm so torn. On one hand, I'm so glad I finally got to kill Dijkstra. Just, I'm so tired of that absolute rabid jackass. But. On the other hand, he just massively screwed over everyone, and that fucking sucks. So it's like, ugh. It, it's good, but also not. Alright, convert the coins so that they're not weight in my pocket. Pretty please. Then I'm gonna go sell some chicks. I probably picked up a bunch of weaponry from that little encounter. You're not here. We'll just fix that. I just, uh, It's such a dick move. Also, I need to just adjust something one little bit. Apologies. 
just because I noticed that my audio is peaking a lot and I don't want that. I don't think anyone wants that. So I'm just adjusting that real quick. Apologies. Ugh. Cause I've hated I've hated Dijkstra from the fucking get go. He's just he's always I mean, obviously you're supposed to fucking hate him. I I hit yes. Oh, it's already done. It's just something about him has always seemed especially rancid to me. So I'm very glad for the chance to kill him. Show me your whip. I'm just really upset that he fucked over. Uh, what's it called? Tamaria so thoroughly. Because Tamaria is very well thoroughly fucked now. Can I sell other shit to you? I really don't need the Dimeradium Shackles for anything. Can I sell you anything of significant weight? That's gonna be a no because the food and drink are going, going to weigh nothing. And you won't accept weapons and shit. That's fine, I suppose. So long. Is the black, uh, the blacksmith open again? It looks like yes. Hey, there you are. Cool. Or I'm sorry, not the blacksmith, the armorer. Because there's a fine line difference. Oh, did I? Is my crossbow no longer equipped? Okay. Uh, so these are just. Yeah, Witch Hunter Sword, cool. Not selling the crossbow. No, I said I'm not selling the crossbow! Well, I would say, listen to me, game. Game, if you could listen to me instead of costing me money because you're being stupid, I would really appreciate that. Why are you doing this? I'm so frustrated, actually. Hey, game, could you could, 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 could you cut it out just a bit? Pretty please, with sugar on top? Thank you for finally glitching behaving. Also, you might uh, maybe hear voices in the background. People are up and about doing stuff in my house, which is fine. Uh, you might hear a couple of voices, doubtful but possible, uh, belonging to my partners, which would be really cute. Oh my void, why? I wouldn't normally be selling all of you. Though I guess at this point I don't really need the minor tiers. I just need the higher tiers for the good armor that I have now. Okay, and that's all I can sell to you. That's fine. I'm the important thing is I got most of the a lot of the weight out. I'm very frustrated I wasted a lot of gold rebuying the items that I kept on accidentally selling because it kept on messing up. That legitimately is frustrating. But it's fine. I guess. Cuz I'm not because I'm not going to reload to avoid that happening. But that's still vexing, shall we say. By order of the Hierarch, well, the Hierarch can eat my ass. Except for not really, because I have better taste. Uh, I'm not going to be able to sell anything worth weight to you, am I? No. <sighs> That's fine. Onward we go with the quests. So long. Also, there's a non-zero chance that someone might need to come by uh, to get something out of my room. So, non-zero chance you might maybe see someone sneak past behind me. If so, that's fine. I told them that they could do that. Uh, all right, also, let's see. Dried fish, or dried fruit. Oh wait, no, I don't need that quest. Uh, that is the final quest that, that that's the cutoff for this particular stage so we're done with that and now we're going to uh go talk to avalanche the jackass who was massively sus in the last episode which i i had lots of fun making that last thumbnail 
Was it inane and silly? abso fucking lootly. Oh, right. Also, let's go equip my crossbow so I don't accidentally sell it again. Yeah, I do have full griffin gear. And I have, like, I, I do. I have every... And I'll, at some point, I might even, like, show y'all. Um, like, in the crafting menu. I do have everything except for, like, the final bits. And in my head, that's good enough as doing it. At least when it comes to a game. The king of the wild hunt sailed aboard the a giant long ship also, yes, for anyone who's aware of what I'm wearing, I am wearing a silly uh, pink hoodie covered in, you know, hamster unicorns because I, my mermaid and I wanted to match today. No, this is not sponsored by Critical Role. I fucking wish that would be cool as hell. Though I am friends with at least some of those who make uh, the wonderful podcast, Compelled Duel, and you should go check out their YouTube channel and you know, check them out on Google Podcasts and otherwise. Phenomenal stories. They wrapped up one campaign, which was done in D&D 5th Edition. They just started their Monster of the Week campaign, Compelled Duel, Desert Song. Really cool. You should check it out. It's really nifty. And also just, it's so fucking funny. I, th I think I've shared a couple of quotes from the first campaign. Um, if anyone remembers the... Uh, Interaction. I think I mentioned a couple, a couple videos ago. I don't remember what it was specifically, but I feel like it was relevant to something that I was doing. Uh, it might have been whenever I was fighting cops in this game, but it was you know, uh, th their first campaign is where the a high priestess is allowed to maim people in here in Australia. Eh, I don't know, but he's a cop, not a person. But aren't you less? That's where, compelled is where that came from. Real good. Real good show. I like it a lot. It does good things for my heart. And um, let's see. I don't have anything else of... Oh, wait, no, I do. You and you. What do you do? You're just a split bolt. That's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with a tracking bolt. Because I have a boatload of them. And then where are you? The exit door? Yes, you are the exit door. Okay. But yeah, compelled duel. Really cool. We're not like in a, you know, official partnership or whatever, but I asked if they would like a shout out and... Or I asked one of the creators, one of the two, there's two of them, if they would like a shout out. And they said, oh, that'd be cool. So, I figured I'd do them solid. Because they're really cool. I like them a lot. Uh, the first campaign, it's full of like neurodivergent and queer characters. The... And <laughs> it was actually funny, a little bit of a behind the scenes thing. Uh, the only characters who aren't confirmed queer are, like, the big bads, and that's because they didn't want it to be the meme of, Diversity win! This war criminal's bisexual! They were trying to actively avoid that, so. Uh, that said, it's not specified that they're straight, it's just never, it's just never specified if they're queer or not. So. Yes, Carol. Take that as you will. Everything's, oh, actually, no. We went by your lab. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the handheld elf's chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. You I just like you. With the gene, elder blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it causes. <laughs> I don't believe you in the fucking slightest. Ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm -hmm. A she-elf claimed you hate Siri. So how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Yeah. Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? Yes, I do, actually. Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Eredin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. Fair enough. There's so many things. Um... I really don't like you or your attitude, so I'm sorry I'm going to miss a bunch of lore, probably. 
I just want to go fucking cave Aridin's skull in. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelbarn died of sorrow. Cool. Don't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. Fair enough. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik. In that case, let's go. Yes, please, so I can be done with your cheekbones. Look like somebody set their cheekbone slider too high in, the, in an Elder Scrolls game. The, seriously. <laughs> oh, what was the dude's name? He would give Benadryl Cucumber a cheekbone envy. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. <laughs> Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. Yes, you were mansplaining to the witches. Great, great plan. That's nice of you. Hi, sweetheart. I love Siri. She's so cute. I want to protect her. Always. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the sunstone. If Karanthia answers the call... This thing is very well insulated. These dampen the sound quite a bit, actually. The logs must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The Seventh Imlet's infantry regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. Sure. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop, gonna signal us by horn or use messengers. <laughs> or spells. Irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Yes, actually. Less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Yeah, we have some. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Though, admittedly, you could probably just teleport into place. Plan's <laughs> missing one important. Element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. That's bold that you think you can uh, control what Siri will do. Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. <laughs> I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. It's not your fucking decision to make. <laughs> Yeah, you have no right to give her orders, you Don't dick. Have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. And she's fucking right. I, I hate Avalanche so much. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. God, I hate you. Zirel I want to take my swords my and cut your head off. Cyril, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Fuck you, Avalanche. Oh, yes. The elder blood can be fiery. I want to kill him so much. Siri, she can't do something is counterproductive. Speaking from experience there. Ultimately, she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me. Never mind. Trust me when I say but she's not gonna want to do you, my you good bitch. Brew your substances or whatnot. Do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats. That's fair. The I do need to re replenish my bombs and shit. I... Hi, Yen. You're pretty. You're always a welcome sight. Yen, why are you here? To see you. Something happened. Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. I don't... I, I think we're pretty good. We've come a long way, and I'll be damned if we've come to fail. 
It'll be all right. Yeah. I admire your optimism. Wish I shared it. I mean, we have all of you majors, and also I'm a badass. Once it's over, so it's we're gonna be good. I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where, Where are you going? Wherever, to Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. Fucking mood. God, that just sounds like fucking my Empress character. She's just so tired. She just wants everything to be happy and simple. You? Dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start a new. I'll Aww. when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw having retained the upper hand. What then? I like her a lot. She's really good. The flower garden to tend to. That Why sounds really nice. Go where we please. Do whatever strikes our fancy. I think you strike Geralt's fancy. So, coming with? Um. I mean, yeah. As long as we can bring Siri, or you know, at least make sure Siri's well off. I'd go anywhere with you. The answer I was hoping for. Hmm. Go, Geralt. Avalaka waits. And don't get killed, Witcher. That's a very cursed thought, Brain. That's saying firmly within the confines of my brain. The world does not need the immense pain that would come with speaking those words aloud. What the void are you thinking of? I absolutely love it whenever my brain gives me just the most inane, random bullshit thoughts. It's like, where the fuck did that even come from? There's apparently a lot of things and stuff going on. They're a quartermaster, yes. Uh, I want to sell you some shit. So that it's not weighing me down. I'm also not going to rely on the keyboard this time, because last time I did that, it betrayed me in a massive way. Do you have any, like, super good runes? Or patches? I don't know what the, what, what the opposite of the runes are. Uh, to stun, what are you? Armor piercing? Don't give a shit really about that. I don't really have an issue with armor piercing. Uh, to freeze, no. And you don't have anything for the armor specifically, which is kind of meh. But that's fine. Cool. Later. So long. I guess I will go ahead and make a... Actually, no. Let's... Is it true? Go ahead and meditate. Make sure that we have everything replenished. I believe we do. Yeah, everything all nice and stocked up. I'll switch you. Then I'll swap you around for there. Because I have the most of you two. And then I'll go ahead, make a save point here. Make a quick save here, as soon as I can. Game saved. Alright. Avalok, you dick fuck. Where? There you are. Ugh. I would say, despise you. Let's get these bastards. With pleasure, Geralt. With pleasure. I so don't. Everything you say makes me suspicious as hell. Though right now, for some reason, you look like a World of Warcraft character to me. Why did you keep it in the funky Arcanomist box? I've given my heart. What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. You're very quiet all of a sudden. I give you my heart, but I shall take your head. Amazing spell. 
For something so lovingly crafted, it seems very rough. I'm so excited to get to finally kick Aridin's ass. It's okay. it's gonna be okay, Triss. Don't you worry. They approach. The end of the world approaches. All of you are so scared. It's gonna be fine. So what? There were were actively summoning the apocalypse just so we can kick its ass. It's gonna be fine. If you betray us, I am going to personally remove both of your heads with my great sword and then light them both on fire. Also, it was break a sword. Is that you trying to be cute and say break a leg? Because it's not cute. It just sounds ominous. Well, at least if that's from Avalok. It sounds like it was from Avalok. The dialogue got very quiet, so I'm not certain who it was supposed to be said by. I, I rather, I didn't hear who said it. I just saw the subtitles, honestly. All right, boys, time to kick some ass. The must be nearby. Oh, I'm peeking like a motherfucker right now. It's such a weird balance, because I turned my mic up a bit. Because, uh, in my recent videos, I feel like I've been kind of quieter. My voice hasn't quite been capturing my energy quite right. But now it shows me going into the red a lot. Hopefully not too much. Or hopefully it's only looking like it is. It's not actually sounding like it is. Don't know what that was about. Kill him. Kill him right now. <gasps> Do I get to control Siri now? Also, good boy, learning that you can't control steer Siri. <laughs> good boy. Finally understanding she was not your pawn. You piece of shit elf. God, I hate him. Not because he's an elf, just because he's he is a piece of shit and is an elf. Ugh, I hate him. The funny thing is, I normally prefer to play elves in most games. Because I don't like playing humans in fantasy settings. I wonder if I'm going to get a funky new power for this segment. This looks like maybe yes. Okay. Real quick, let's just turn this down. Couple more ticks. Okay. Should hopefully be okay. Oh, did she just instantly kill them? Amazing. Also, I think I pointed this out before, but I really like the... So, you know, Geralt's armor, or Ger Geralt's health bar, has like... Oh, I killed- I, I, I attacked a couple people I didn't even realize had existed yet. But Geralt's health bar has like a prop- has like a full wolf on it. Like, his silver icon is a full wolf. But Ceres is like a wolf cub. Which is fitting, because Ciri is, you know, like... Geralt's daughter, and is- would make her, you know, a wolf cub. And I think it's- it just- it's cute to me. Oh, this is very cool. I do like that... It, it seems to be from... Hello. Whatever the hell that was. Like, for cinematic purposes, they, like, just made Siri... Oh, wait, can I use this? No, I can't. Okay. But, like, they made Siri very strong for this segment. I'm guessing as kind of, like, a... An indication of, like, her growth and the fact that her power has been growing. And also the fact that, you know, she's not playing around this time. 
She is here to get shit done, and no one is gonna fucking stop her. Oh, the apocalypse. The literal wild hunt that's said to end the world. Haha, <laughs> I will cut all of you down. I'm here to gut, disembowel, and girl boss my way to victory. Come here. Aw. Oh, you're not you're not on the same elevation axis as I am. That's why you escaped. Come here. I also like that for some reason she can just Previously, she couldn't do this infinitely. She had to, like, recharge more. But this time it's just, oh no, I can just teleport at will. Uh, probably representing the fact that she's been getting more practice in mastering her powers better. So now it's like, oh, hi. This is normally a, like, a thing. Karanthir. Can, do I have any healing... Attacks? You've improved, <laughs> Don't you talk to me! Oh, right! Oh, you're the one who killed Vesemir right in front of me. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Cutscene. Ah, dick. Nice! Oh, that was good. I'm so proud of her. I say as if I'm not the one kind of controlling her. I won't stop with his staff. Ooh, she just, like, you know, there's, like, the, the tines of his st staff. Does she just, like, with her sword? I think she did. She did. So that's why the spell's gone. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, that's my girl! <laughs> Though, what effect did that have on Siri? Also, again, she's still rocking her healed, like, her healed witcher boots. I love her so much. Almost, Sira. Almost. <laughs> so you thought, fucker. I don't know how you said that. Oh, did she like reverse the spell? Oh wait, oh, never mind. Oh, so now I finished the job as Geralt. Witcher. So be it. Let us end this. Oh, don't you worry, fucker. I'm going to. I'm just using a lot of- I, I realize I'm- I, I don't normally use just a lot of, I don't know, normal profanity whenever I'm playing, but just- I'm not in the mood for thinking. I just want to destroy this absolute shitlord. I did not tell you to cast Quinn, but okay. Where did you go? Oh, you know what I could do? Uh... Uh, one second? <laughs> Come on, there we go. Oh, oh, I'm gonna need to kill both of you, aren't I? Oh, right, also, like, it's not just spell damage. It's just, uh, spells, or, like, damage in general is doubled whilst I'm standing within one of these things. At least I believe so. I could be incorrect. Uh, can I? Ah. So, I can interrupt his casting, it appears. Or at least I can definitely hurt him while he's casting and has a significant effect. <laughs> Did you just shoot your own guy? I mean, not that I'm going to complain, but it's very funny. Let me 
me just... Yeah, there we go. Also, could I perhaps... One sec. Let me... Could, if I throw a Dimeridium Bomb, would that stop you from teleporting? Because if so, that would be very useful. No, that doesn't stop you from doing your casting. Well, that bites, but that's good to know. It would have been too easy, I think, if that worked. So, I, I'm, I'm not upset that that doesn't work. Uh, a little disappointed, I will admit. But not surprised. Just because that would have been really fun. Alright, quick, let's kill the Ice Elemental so that uh, it will... So that my little turret will shoot Karanthir. Come here! I have... Several, I have several problems with you I would like to address and get out in the open. Most of them have to do with the fact that you keep on hunting my daughter? Who, if you, I mean, if you haven't seen already, I have gone beyond the ends of the earth for, for, uh, Cirilla. So, the fact that you think that you are going to stop me or that I will, you know, be stopped by you is really cute. And really, really foolish of you. Just so you know. Because, no. You hurt Siri, you will face the Witcher's Wrath. <laughs> Come here, Karanthir. Also, are you healing over time? I can't tell. Oh, my turret isn't even going after Karanthir. Oh wait, now it is. I don't know why sometimes it's not. Sometimes it is. <laughs> oh, and also, you know, the the using uh, Igni twice is good because that lowers his armor of I believe. And it, it'll be really poetic if Siri bamps back in and helps me kill him. Oh, or that too. Don't get me wrong, still cool as hell. It should have been a bit more poetic if Siri had, like, chimed back, like, come back and cut him in half. Oh! Did you teleport us to the bottom of the ocean? Just to be spiteful? <laughs> you piece of shit. Nice try, but I have whale prepared. Unless you like specifically... Yeah, okay, one second, let me equip it now. But I do have... Whale or whatever it's called. The one that's like, oh, you need to like hold your breath longer? Okay, here you go. Like, that was a good attempt, in theory, g good concept, good try, good thought process. Most people from this world can't hold their breath for long enough to swim to the surface. I, Liliana Linale, would probably be so incredibly screwed if I tried to do this. But, you know, Geralt of Rivia is glitching fine. That's a cool looking ship. I can't tell whose that is. She's gonna be fine, probably. <laughs> Guessing that's the Empire making itself useful. She's safe. Don't don't you worry about her. Our girl's gonna be fine. War boring going off. Also, I have been told that like I am close to the end of the game. This might actually be the final quest or whatever. 
So we might actually, you know, fully just fucking end Aridin right now. Come on, little doggies. Sorry, you picked the wrong fight. You know, there's no such thing as a bad dog. Uh, only, you know, dogs raised by bad people. Unfortunately, you were raised by bad people. And I do have to defend myself and those I care about. So I do have to put you down, and I'm very sorry for that. But, you know, I, I don't hold it against you personally. I do love how... I, I, I do really like how this build works. It's very nice. See, like, it just... It takes out such big chunks of health whenever I get to, like, double cast Igni. And even if, like, I'm not double casting it, it's still, like, it, it, it's still boosting my magic powers a lot. Okay, so do I just need to kind of run past? Like, I, sure I killed some things, do I just keep going now? Is that the plan? Is that the goal here? I think that might be the goal here. Okay, that is the plan. I misunderstood. I thought, like, I just had to fight. So I played a couple different games where, like, essentially, you fight until enemies stop spawning. So I thought that might have been the situation. Turns out I was wrong. I don't mind being wrong. I realize that the universe might be a little confused because, uh, growing up, I absolutely had to be right all the time. But, you know, now I'm grown up, and, you know, being right isn't everything? I, I believe that's called growth. But you know, worrying so much about being right uh, causes me to be, uh, as the youth are saying, uh, a touch toxic to those around me. So it's not really uh, something I try to, you know, let rule my life anymore. It is something I still have to, you know, contend with because it is a habit I grew up with, but, you know, it's something I can, you know, be aware of and try to ensure that I'm not letting it rule me. Because there's more important things in life. Like, like thinking about my girlfriends and how happy they make me. And how I more than anything just want my girlfriends to be happy. So is fire damage what turns off their healing? Because it seems like a lot of them are healing, except for whenever... Or at least, like, maybe they have a lot of armor until they get hit by fire. I'm not certain. There seems to be some sort of something. Because, like, right now, for some like, I, I couldn't hit it. But then I hit it with fire, and it's fine. <sighs> Come here, little doggy. Who are you? <gasps> Is that the Emperor? Please be the Emperor. No, not you! I like you! You don't need to die. Honorable duel. Or is it the a warrior should die with his weapon in his hands? Geralt, please save the day. Please save his life. I like him. I don't want to see him die. I want Emir's head on a fucking pike, but I want him to live because he's fucking cool. He seems to be one of those rulers who, like, actually kind of has his shit on straight and, like, actually deserves to rule, slash can be trusted to rule. Mad respect. Come on, Geralt. Flop. Well, not quite what I was expecting, but that's Witcher. fine. I was hoping you'd come. 
big I'm house. going to put my sword between your That's eyes. Something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. After I've kicked your ass. As you expire. <laughs> In your fucking dreams. I'm going to tear you into three different pieces, light them on fire, and feed them to the nearest dogs. I'm going to take you apart. Sew you back together with cloth made from the cheapest, shittiest things I can find. I'm going to burn you to the ground. Fill you with excrement once I've cut you open and removed all your non-vital organs. I'm gonna fill everything that's not ne going to replace everything that's not 100% necessary for your survival with excrement, as it already probably is, actually. I'm going to light you on fire. I'm going to have scientists specifically design, or maybe the mages, a new type of uh, sodium that only re reacts to any moisture, not specifically water and then fill you with it so that you slowly burn from the inside out until you're nothing but a husk. I'm going to take my sword and drive it through the bottom of your skull out through the crown of your head and keep it as a trophy for anyone else who ever thinks that they want to threaten Siri or anyone else that I care about. Can I just shoot you? The fuck is this bullshit? I like how he can only really hit me or hurt me with his weird magical powers. His sword doesn't really seem to do much to me at all. No, not Axie, Igni. Come on, cast. Oh, I didn't have enough points. Mmm. going to tear you apart, feed you... Actually, no, I'm not going to feed you. I'm going to turn you into chum and then just dump you into, like, five different rivers so that nothing that consumes you will ever know what they're feasting on. They'll just know that it's the worst shit they've ever had in their lives. Because I can Im only imagine that your... Like, that your shitty attitude and shitty outlook on everything will convert to your meat's taste. Okay, so I so if I can if if I attack him and interrupt his casting, it stops. Good to know. Oh, one sec, need to hammer out my sword real quick. I don't actually know which one I need, just that I need to repair one of my swords. Cool. I honestly probably should have uh, perhaps gone and gotten like all of the upgrades I could have. Just because it seems like there's a lot of, like, it, it seems like this really might be, like, the last non-DLC story bit. And if that is the case, then, you know, it doesn't really behoove me to not have the maximum of upgrades that I could be having. Come on, Aridin. Bitch boy. <laughs> Come on. This is every sword stroke, every spell is all for hurting Cirilla. You absolute incel piece of shit. I don't know why, but just... Guys like him just... They give me this vibe of... I don't have enough power by myself, so I'm going to take advantage of someone else. And I know it's not like the actual definition, but it just has such incel energy to me. 
Oh, I'm unhappy. It, it, it's the whole, oh, I'm unhappy, so I'm gonna make other people suffer because of my unhappiness mindset. That's why. Oh, you want me to come, you want, you want me to come closer? Okay, I can come closer. I'm going to end you. I also like, really, his sword strikes are doing dick against my armor. I think that my, I, I think my dodges might go slightly less far because I, uh, the one downside to the griffin armor set is that it isn't light armor, it's medium armor, which I dislike. It doesn't really make sense to me since the griffins are like, like, the griffin school is all about, you know, improving your signs and whatnot. But, you know, it, it is what it is, and I, uh, I can't move. And, yes, I'm all, I'm all for mods and everything. I just, I didn't want to, uh, th there are lots of game-breaking mods, uh, out here, or out there. But I didn't really want to, you know, I didn't want to use any of the mods, like, broke the game, or, like, you know, made the game easier. I just wanted, I, I used some that would make things more convenient, but not easier. Yeah! Get his ass! Ice to see you again, Aridin. Oh, I'm sorry, is your little eye hurt? Dick. Geralt's just like fucking fine over here. <laughs> I really hope Siri comes and helps out somehow. Filth. And I say, kick a sword away, yeah. No, you don't get a warrior's death. You don't get to die with your weapon in your hand. Your soul doesn't get to go into any sort of honorable afterlife. Shitty individual. You said you had something to tell me. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so surprised. He set us against each other, and he was made off with Cirilla. Doubtful? I don't believe you. I mean, still cut his head off to be certain that he dies. Is that going to be the Great White Whale? The King is dead! Yeah, fuck you, Aridin! New item received. Have Karen. Have Karen will travel. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? Pardon me? Siri was doing fine without Avalok. What, how? I have questions about how Avalok got her. If this is true. Is that the tower that I moved earlier? Whenever I was exploring, I came across a random tower that I had to fucking move. Yeah, at least you know where Siri is. Can you not portal us there, love? Uh, new sword. New sword through this? Have Karin. Uh, no, I'm sticking with my sword. We need to focus on Siri. We need to recover once from her. Same as Eridan, I imagine. We will use it to open the gate between the worlds. Ooh, hey, I got new Gwent cards, apparently. Shit. Uh, okay. Cool. Hide on the hollow on the other side. So... It's like, where exactly? Okay, or, you know, we just run through, apparently. Okay, I, I thought I was needing to actually, you know, be careful. Also, Triss, can you um, help, maybe? I know you can do fire shit. Is there any chance you could, per, you know, you could keep us from getting hit? 
C come on. Also, I'll turn off the... Oh, okay, I get the other horse. i just turn off. Wait, what did I just drop? I was trying to drop this. So I turned off auto loot, so now that won't be... No, I won't just immediately pick up the same shit I just dropped. Alright, Yennefer, you take the lead, because I don't know where I'm going. Come on, Yen! And I, I don't know the route. Yen, I am trying to follow you. Oh, I guess this way. So the world is literally coming to an end. Yeah, I, I picked up on the not much time aspect of certain things. Okay, so, yes, so so Avalok is causing an end of the world. What the? Geralt, climb! Alright. Will do. Just please keep moving. Cause last time, <coughs> pardon me. Cause it said follow you, but you're sticking behind me a lot, and I adore you, Yen. I really do. You're cute as hell and adorable. Those are the same thing. And powerful, and I think you're really cool and hot. Um, but I really need you to to, to keep moving. Come on, Yen! I adore you. Please. Please. Okay. Normally whenever it's, you know, follow, if I start sprinting, they'll start sprinting. Not not this time. Apparently. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh, I hate Avalok so much. Am I being kept from healing? Okay, no. Oh, well then, okay, I was getting all set up to, you know, take that, take care of that, but you, you, you got it. Nice. So we're just going to that barrier, right, and then we're good? Then we'll maybe not need to keep up this funky little shield charade thing? Because I can't tell where it cuts off, really, other than there's a shimmering whilst I'm inside of it. Damn! surrounded the tower with a magic barricade! Okay. No, just you. You must go alone. I'll come back with Siri. I know. <laughs> the family I'm unit will be made whole. Now, Geralt. Stay safe. You're too cool to die. You know, whenever uh, Quinn told me that I was close to the end of the game, I didn't realize it was quite this close, or I would have worn my normal Witcher outfit um, and just changed, and y y you know. But I, you know, sometimes you don't understand things quite enough, so you end up going through the finale of the game in a cute, fluffy uh, unicorn hoodie. It's very warm and soft. Hi, dick nut. I'm going to cut you into five different pieces. I'm going to skin you alive and make a coat for Siri. So unfortunate. I'd hoped you wouldn't have to witness this. Witness what? Where's Siri? Nearby. Listen. Shut up. I've heard enough of your bullshit. Draw your weapon. Let's get this over with. You're just gonna let me kill you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's really cute thinking that I'll spare you. I think you will not attack one on You're fucking wrong. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping 
Sorella. I don't believe you at all. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? I'll believe you. I won't believe an illusion of you. Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the temple because I aim to enter it. Why? Also, could you maybe told us? Oh, you want to see if you can beat the White Frost and save the world forever. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elderblood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. You don't have to give up your life, though. White Frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the worlds one after the other, eradicating all life. Okay, but you don't have to I die for it. Stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. I know it's roughly. Way. I think there's some miscommunication. Telling you. That is fair. But. Good luck. Good luck, Siri. Perhaps I should have told you. I see now you might have understood. Know you better than you think. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I don't think. Like, okay, only the they of the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Nothing in that sounds to me like it entails Siri dying. So I think she'll be fine. Probably. Wait, do I get to play Siri as the final segment? I really hope so. That'll be much more cinematic and enjoyable than if I just watch her do something. <laughs> Even though it is true, we play mainly as Geralt, and it is Ciri's story. Oh, that's so pretty. What is it? Like, what? what are you... <laughs> Cute! Cute, 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 cute! <laughs> Geralt's like... Geralt is far from perfect. But... Given what he's... Given the hand he's been dealt, he has done his best to be a good father to Ciri. Even if, like, she still has a father, technically. But, like... Emir doesn't count. Emir's a shitlord. And I don't think Emir has ever actually parented. Versus Geralt has actually done his best to raise Ciri. And Gwen, or not Gwen, Yen, has also done a good job of trying to be... a respectable mother figure. Again, not perfect, but, you know, I feel like, if anything, the lesson Yen has taught has been, you know, hold your ground, don't let other people control you. Follow your own path. Oh. So, I, you know, I hope that Siri is okay. Vizimir, capital of occupied Tamaria, two weeks later. Okay, um. Unclear. Unclear of stuff. Oh, you again. 
The gentleman will follow. The gentleman still wants to kick your ass. Delegation is half a day's travel from here. They truly are Russian. Return to your post. Yes, sir. Oh, I hate following uh, Amir's Chamberlain. Chamberlain, whatever. And I have never taken Siri to see Amir, because Amir is a piece of shit, and I don't trust Amir. And I still would like to take my time and take every single polearm that's up on these walls, which I know are probably dull. And use each of them to make very thin slices until I've made until I've used every single polearm in the palace to cut into Emir. Like a loaf of bread, but instead of a bread, it's an Good asshole. Move. Who are you? I've not seen you before. I don't think. Your hair does not have physics. Or it does, but they're very shitty. Oh shit! Oh, is that what? Wait, no. Hold on. You're familiar with the prophecy. Siri tried no. to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Siri, where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Doesn't answer the question, but. Avalach, Elven Sage, but I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer. Gone. She's Presumably. decided to stay in the north, provided you don't object. I don't. And you? I'm gonna stay with her, presumably. Also, yeah, fuck you. That's none of your business. Not anymore. Mm. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? Uh, yeah, no, I'm just gonna be honest. She didn't fucking talk about you. We didn't talk about you. I see. Because you weren't her dad. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. That is but you may go. Well, what is it then? At least say that much. Witcher. I do not wish to see you ever again. Likewise. Shit, heart. This is all you have in yours. Shit, heart's actually kind of a really good insult. This means there's nothing in someone's heart except for excrement and vileness. At least the way my brain interprets information, that's how that would mean. So what are you up to, Geralt? Are you just kind of going around... Doing witchery stuff again? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True. The barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Fair enough. Change is coming. True. No denying it. Nilfgaard flees. Yet here it seemed nothing could move them. What are they running from? they wine behind, too. That's generous. <laughs> uh. Sure, you don't need any help. I believe we will manage. Where are you yeah. headed? The nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first at the former campsite of the North Guardians. We'll take care now. I I'm also. Um. Please tell me that Siri's okay. I need Siri to be okay for emotional reasons. I mean, um, uh, oh, what's the rule? I actually don't know if there's, like, an actual rule for it. But, you know, we didn't see a body, therefore not necessarily dead. I'm so... I, uh, um... Oh, let's see. I, I just, I want... <laughs> 
Okay, this is gonna be really weird. In this, honestly, hell might surprise Quinn. But like, I don't know if I'm just, it's a getting older thing or what, or it's cause hormones have been doing things, but I've just had a lot more like, wanting to take care of people desires, I guess, lately. So the thought of Siri actually dying is upsetting. I really hope she's okay. I need Siri to be okay. <laughs> like I said earlier, I don't know if I'm crying or if it's just my allergies because something got in my eye and it fucked me up. I'm just gonna wait there? That feels boring, but I mean, I guess I do just... I guess Geralt does sometimes just... Meditate for hours on end. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. It's 38 and a half inch blade. Weight just under 40 ounces. Silver plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes both the length of the blade and on the hilt. That looks like the trans symbol on the. Beautiful. towards the hilt of the blade. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. Also, who are you? I say no witcher has. Whatever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Lord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription. As you asked. Hmm. <laughs> Zirael. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Aww. Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm -hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. <laughs> he had a sword named after her. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. I really hope Siri's okay. Sierra L. It doesn't even have damage, it's just... I'm absolutely going to wield it. I hope Siri's okay. I'm not finishing this episode till I find out if Siri's okay or not. I was planning on this one only being an hour because I have other things I want to do today. More specifically, my mermaid's here, and I want to spend as much time with her as possible, but I still want to get this out on time. This is Yara L, right? Yeah. I'm not trying to... I'm, I'm just trying to attack the sword dummy, but okay. Okay, yeah, I, I just want to swing it at the, the, the test dummy. It, it feel, I mean, it has a good weight to it. You know, it's faster. far as I can tell. Uh, maybe, maybe I can fast travel to the, to the inn. How far away is it? Oh yeah, it's a good distance away. Oh, is it going to wrap up at the place that we originally went to? Also, I forget if, I forget if this was on camera or not, but y'all remember ages ago, like episode two or three, we ran across the alchemist who had the lady on, like, in the bed that we gave a witcher potion to. Uh, whenever I was just dicking around exploring, I found an NPC, or like, I found a character who was like, hey, you're the one who helped my, like, f my, my lover, um whenever she was injured. Uh, turns out the potion healed her but made her go kind of insane, if I remember right. And so he's like, I don't know if I should curse you or thank you for helping her. Hello, Duke. Uh, just because uh, apparently she like, she didn't die dignified, but she didn't die of her original wounds. 
So you gotta help. Who's the sword for? Presumably, he's keeping it for himself. Unless there's someone else here that... Oh, is it a gift for Yen? That looks like Yen's sleeve. And that's Yen's colors. Or... Oh, thank fuck she's okay. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, 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 okay. We've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toy. So she's a witcher now, it sounds like. So that presumably does mean she's a full witcher now. Because she has a witcher's blade. A witcher's sword. Swallow. That does look like the trans symbol. Beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. <laughs> she is a witcher. Good. Good for her. <sighs> I'm so happy. Credits. That was good. That was really good. I'm so happy. Them. Who milked God's victory? Marians got their country back. Hmm. History once again proved consummate victory. <laughs> yeah, history kind of be like that. Having dealt with Radovid, the year of our memories did the same with enemies to the best. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats. Alike. Is that kid just poking a dead body with a stick? Oof. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellige bloomed under Ceres's enlightenment. <laughs> Yay, good! Those who had come before her, the young queen, did not raise foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dull. I mean, Cirilla I wouldn't say it was they were dulled. I'm so happy. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is based on the prose of Andrzej Sapkowski. Is how I think that's pronounced. That's really cool. Oh, this was so good! I like this a lot, actually. This was really good. Also, like... Okay, so, I know a lot of people are like, they're never gonna make a Witcher 4 because Witcher 3 was so good they can never live up to the hype that would be expected of them if they made a Witcher 3, or if they made a Witcher 4. Valid. Makes sense. Understand that entirely, actually. Um, I do think that at least... Okay, so... I don't know how... So, I, I haven't played the first two games, so... I don't know if it's like Dishonored, where it's... Like... Your choices affect your game state, but... There's still, like, an ending that is the canon ending. It's so, like, in... Um, 
Are those? Is that Zoltan being burned at the stake? Really hope not. That looks like you're sacrificing someone. Not cool. Don't know what's going on there. You got something in your chest there, bud. Anyway, um, so for example, Dishonored, it's like, you can be high chaos, low chaos, whatever, but the low chaos is the canon ending that, like, Dishonored 2 and Death of the Outsider, like, operate underneath. Cutscene? No, okay. So, I don't know if that's what is going on, like, if that's what they did with the previous two, like, all these things are things you can do, but here are the assumptions that this game is going to operate underneath. Or if it's, like, an Inquisit, no, it's not, like, Inquisition, because... There was no choice matrix to load in for this one. At least not whenever I start started. So, uh, if there is one canon ending, then uh, it would be really easy to just be like, oh, hey, like, you know, the, the one where Cirilla becomes a Witcher is the canon ending, and that would leave a really good opening for The Witcher 4, especially because with Ciri's powers, she would make a really good protag because, you know... At least in my head, she'd make a really fun prota uh, protagonist because you have a kind of base set of powers that would allow a more fluctuating, flexible style of gameplay other than, like, so this did still have a gameplay, like, a game style option, but it's still very limited. Even if you were doing all magey things like I was trying to do, you still had to be in combat, use your swords and whatever, because your spells alone weren't strong enough. With series innate powers, I think it would lead a good way for you to have a Witcher protagonist who also has more mage-like abilities um, that would, you know, still probably rely on the sword some, but would not necessarily be as in close-to-close -close combat like Geralt necessarily had to be. And I just think that'd be really fun, kind of like how with Dishonored, I think it would be really... Uh, spoilers for the Dishonored series for the next, like, 15 seconds, but I think um, a, a really good Dishonored 4 protagonist would be The Outsider, since at the end of the Death of the Outsider, uh, the most likely canon ending is they set him free from being trapped as the outsider and restore his name to himself. Because, sure, he's not the god anymore, but he's been tied to the void for the past 4,000 years, so that has to have rubbed off on him. That'd be a fascinating protagonist for Dishonored 4. Similar to Cirilla, she probably ha sacrificed some of her powers um, in the, like, defeating of the White Frost, but... She's still, you know, of the Elder Blood, so she still probably has immense power that she can still use and wield. And I just, I, th I think she'd be a really good protagonist for The Witcher 4. Now, these are things other people have probably said, because I'm super late to The Witcher game, but these are my thoughts. Um, uh, this was really good. This was a really fun game. Not my normal style, again, you know, I'm not normally a melee person, but I did have fun with this. Um, again, I did play this on the easiest mode, because I am here for the story. Um, I do think I would have maybe struggled and maybe not had as much fun if I had gone with the, like, harder modes, just because fights would have taken longer, I would have had to be more careful, I would have had to pay more attention to things, um, versus this, let me just focus on the story, which is what I like. I'm here for the story in all games I play. I'm here for the story and to have fun playing it while I'm playing the story. And that's what I did with this game. So, I'm going to go ahead and skip if I can... Hopefully, if there's a cutscene or something else, we'll get to that. This was really good. Also, a uh, trophy slash honorable mention for, like, the story of Geralt of Virga has come to a close. You continue traveling the world in search of Witcher contracts and adventure, but everything will be as as it was before the game's last chapter, and quests tied to the main storyline will, will no longer be available. Okay. You have unlocked the ability to start a new game plus. To do so, create a new game, a new game save, start a new game, and choose the new game plus option, and select the save you created to import your character. Only saves created after unlocking the new game plus option can be used for this purpose. Okay, I think I understand. Um, okay, so, I think there will be one more episode for next week that I'm going to just, on Friday, just spend a shitload of time recording and just finishing all of the side quests that are available in the main game. And then if y'all would like me to, and I, this is one that I'll really need y'all to like show up in like the comments, um, or, you know, for those of you who are on the discord server, comment on the discord server, 
um, or you know, reach out on Twitter, Tumblr, wherever. Uh, just reach out. Let me know that you do want to see the DLC, just because this is fun. But if the DLC are as long as the main game is, which ideally a DLC would be at least half as long as the main game is, because I have complicated thoughts on DLC. Anyway, you know, so DLC should be significantly long. Uh, I I don't want to you know, I, I want to give people more variety uh, than just you know it's been Witcher for the last several months. Um, so. If you want to see the DLC, please let me know. Uh, I, because I'm super down for playing the DLC. I just, I, I want to know what. Uh, I, I would like to know if you all are interested in the DLC. But either way, I have had a phenomenal time playing this game, even though it is, you know, as mentioned, a lo lot of melee. Not, not my vibe, but very good. I like it. I, I've enjoyed this game way more than I was really, honestly, even expecting to, just because of how much melee there is. I still haven't actually gone through and given that or turned in that trophy. But I just, this was really fun. It was really, at least for me, it was really unique. I've not played a game that has felt this I've not had a game that was this much fun without like a very good ranged option just because I am a ranged player at all points. I don't like being up close and personal. Being in melee terrifies me. It just, it, it feels like I'm constantly going to die. It, it's I, I, not a good time. Not a good time for me normally. This was a really good time. I really enjoyed this. So I'm really excited. So I really am happy that I played this game. I really, really am. Uh, for now, if you'd like to help me keep making videos and help me, you know, stay housed, uh, if you could please follow the Kofi link in the description below. Uh, it's like Patreon, but for smaller creators, or at least it's more friendly to smaller creators, and from my experience. Uh, that would be incredible. Uh, if you can't, if you just make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to know what I'm doing, you know, when videos upload, hit the bell. That would be phenomenal. And if you can't do any of that, uh, just tell a couple friends about the channel. That would really, really help me out. And then, you know, hopefully if they like it, they'll tell some more. Because that's really helpful since I can't afford to advertise for myself right now. And until next time, please do not forget to take care of yourselves and one another. The world is on fire right now. Twitter is literally sinking through the ground as I, you know, sit here recording this. And please, for now, it's time for some very important things, and I hope all of you have a very good day. I'm eternally grateful for all my supporters over on Kofi, Darius, Sarah Senpai, Jinx Mutt, and Sapphic Seraph. If you'd like to help support the channel, join the ranks by following the Kofi link in the description below. There? You can choose a variety of either one-time donations or subscriptions, which will get you the following benefits. Adding games to my list of things to play. Getting to choose cosplays for me to make Let's Plays in. Access to the subscriber-only Discord server. And much, much more. As always, don't forget to hydrate, masticate, and medicate.